speak English. So am I. I mean, look at all this choice yeah. food. I mean, you have little meatballs over there. You have different types of meats. Hey, look at that. Yeah, man. Do I really love Japanese buffets? How about yourself? I love Japanese. Yeah? Yeah, I know. It looks good with chicken. Oh, it does. Man, I'm excited to eat this stuff. Oh, man. Hey everybody, welcome to Boo Bradley in Japan and today me and my family are gonna go to the buffet. It's a treat for us because we only go to a buffet once a month and today is that day. Oh man, how are we gonna start this buffet? Let's see. Craft some seaweed. Broccoli. Always go good with broccoli. Gotta get your greens. Cauliflower. Not too much. Alright, let's see. Get a couple pieces of tomatoes. Anyways, you want to start a buffet out healthy. Alright. I don't know if I should. Each one gets its own, should get its own little. Little tray here. Red onions there. All right. I got some ramen and some noodles. So Look at that. Uh, chocolate fondue. Look at that. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah. Let's see. Looks like some uh, shrimp. Yeah. Oh, it looks like some nicely made shrimp there. Get some of that. Let's see. I right. got everything right there. there. All right. Yeah, doesn't that look nice? Yeah, that's my first plate. All right, let's go eat that. Hey guys, we got our seat. We're going to be eating our all-you-can-eat Japanese-style buffet food. I have a couple plates here in front of me. One plate is full of the uh, things that we got in the deli area and a plate full of meat. Now, Japan, they usually put all their uh, their meat on these little uh, saucers here. And what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to introduce the two types of uh, soup that we have here. The one on the left is cheese soup, and the one on the right is truffles. So you can already see that there's already some meat in there. So there's some noodles, uh, some carrots, um, mushrooms. And, and some it's, ramen. That's right. And then there's some ramen. But we're going to add some more ramen to the mix. So, here, yeah, this is how I'm going to do it. I'm not very uh, keen on uh, etiquette when it comes to a buffet. So, you know, I, I'll use what I need to. So, look at that. I'm just going to put all that in there. Hopefully, it'll all separate. Yeah, William. I'm finished. You're finished. Good job. Good for you. All right. So, I really like this type. <laughs> All right, William. So that's one type of meat, one saucer plate. So I'm gonna grab another one here for you guys. Look like that, we actually have three different plates. And I'm just gonna stick them all in the... That's right, we're gonna have dessert after this. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so William, um, 
this month is a very big month, but you know, next month is also a big month for us, yeah? William, what are we going to do next month? We're going to do a Thanksgiving potluck. A Thanksgiving potluck, that's right. That's where I actually will host the potluck party and I will barbecue my own oh, oh, original turkey. turkey. That's right. And a, and a duck. That's right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to barbecue both a turkey and a duck this year uh, in celebration of the Thanksgiving season. Uh, and also, I that's will. That's for size birthday. That's right. You got you got it right before I was about to say it. And also, it's also my wife's birthday. Go. Oh. Uh, I'm getting really hungry. I'm gonna try these little shrimp poppers they got here. So I'm just gonna use a score. Yeah, wait. Oh no, you don't. Mmm. So you got little shrimp. Looks like just breaded shrimp and just some seasoning sauce there. Heat balls. Mmm. Mmm. This is actually really good. I mean, this this place is really nice. So, I really like their display. Uh, their display menu was really nice. Their menu itself is really nice. The restaurant's hospitality is spot on. And of all things, our privacy. They actually put up a nice uh, curtain that we're able to uh, give ourselves a little bit more privacy. Hi, meat's done. All right, let's see what's kind. Um, I'm going to grab some from the side with uh, the truffle. My God, my wife keeps dropping her damn chopstick. William, one more time, buddy. One more time. Uh, let's check out this uh, truffle soup. The, the meat is nice and cooked. So one thing about Japanese uh, all-you-can-eat beef buffets is the beef or pork is literally all you can eat. Some places they give you a, a limit. So. Hey buddy, welcome back. <laughs> did you drop it again? <laughs> <laughs> yes, she did. Oh, no, I didn't. no, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. You can come back, buddy. <laughs> Alright, let's finish up. Look at this beef bowl here. Mm. No seasoning, just yes. mm. just boiled and truffle soup. Mm. It's tender, absolutely delicious. I'm inhaling this meat. It's very thin. Uh, definitely got to go to uh, an all-you-can-eat buffet in Japan, it just so you can try all the variety of foods that they have. There's always fresh food there, too. Mm. Mm. All right, I'm going to leave that one for my wife. Oh, Daddy? Yeah? I already ate all my food. Are you, you know? still hungry? No, maybe I should go get my dessert now. But if you're... That doesn't make much sense. If you're not hungry, then you shouldn't eat dessert. So you can say, I'm hungry for dessert. I'm hungry for dessert. Well, why don't you go get some? What do you want to get? Hold on. Oh, 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 oh. I'm going to go get some marshmallow from the chocolate covered food. All right. So you're going to go do that. And I believe the camera will be following William. So good luck and have fun. This is how you do your marshmallows. Well, I think I'm now gonna get my dessert. What am I gonna get? Co mochi. Ah, oh, there, there is my dessert. Powdered sugar and rice patty. Uh, rice mochi. Cake, rice cake, whatever it is. Yeah. 
Right, when you guys go out to a buffet, uh, what type of buffet do you guys like to go out to? Let us know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for your support. We look forward to seeing you guys in the future. Bye. See this guy right here? Hey everybody, welcome to Boo Bradley in Japan. And today I have a question to ask you, and that is, what should I get my wife for our anniversary? This month is our six year anniversary, and I still haven't decided what to get her. I'm gonna show you a couple things of which some people have said I should get her, like these Louis Vuitton wallets here. Do you think I should get her this on our six year anniversary? Louis Vuitton wallet or what about a Louis Vuitton bag so you get a Louis Vuitton backpack for about a little under $900 right that's a steal right all right you got a lot of these Louis Vuitton bags Jesus look at these look at those that's like $260 right there yeah so is is this what I should get my wife for our anniversary well, I'm not gonna say yes or no, but I will say my wife likes this one, so I will just say, let me know in the comments below, should I get my wife a Louis Vuitton bag for our anniversary, or should I give her something a little less expensive? Maybe like a gift card and something that says, I love you forever. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you guys very much for watching and have a nice night. Action.